Right, so hopefully you guys can hear me right now i'm at a very special place that's near and dear in my heart uh i'm at the jedediah smith state park um this is actually the place where it's like one of the first places that i ever came to when i came to california because a lot of y'all may not know but when i first moved to california the way I, I the way that i was able to come out here was that i joined a conservation group that um you know they gave you a little bit of money, they gave you free housing, and you would work on parks and like state parks, national parks, all that kind of stuff. We worked throughout California, Utah, all that stuff. So this is actually one of the first places that I came to, and we spent like two months here, just like building bridges and trails, and we built uh, the bridges and the stairs for this specific trail that I'm going on called Fern Falls. So this was like four years ago. So, <laughs> All right, so I pulled over to make sure you guys can hear me. But um, basically this place just holds a lot of magic in it. This is where I met so many good friends. This is where I met so many people that were close in my life and still are today. Um, this is the place where I fell in love with California, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna bring Lars. This is a long trail. It's um, it's honestly probably gonna take about three hours to complete the whole thing. I didn't eat this morning because I woke up late. <laughs> but also I don't really like to eat much when I'm about to go on a big trail. This one is definitely, it's like a three hour trail. I think it's like, um, I can't remember how many miles it is, but I know it's like a three hour trail. So. I'm gonna bring Lars and we're gonna go. I'm gonna put him in his ball. Oh, <laughs> he's getting ready right now, stretching out. But um, yeah, we're gonna do the trail and then there's a few other places around here that I really wanna check out today as well. So we'll hit those too because after today, this is, I mean, after, this, after today, I'll be heading north. And from this point on, everywhere that I go will be the first time that I've been there because I've never been more north than where I am right now. I've never been to Oregon, Washington. I mean, technically I used to live in Alaska, but I don't count that because this is the most north I've ever driven. Um, so yeah, I'm excited today. We're gonna check out this, get a big nostalgia trip. And I don't really know where we're gonna stay tonight, but uh, we'll figure all that out when we get to it. Let's go hit this trail. Rise and shine. 
first time doing this trail in four years I've been close to it for the past like few weeks but I hurt my knee like a few weeks ago so I've been waiting for it to feel like it's good enough to hike this trail because this is like a pretty I mean it's not crazy but it's a pretty rough trail and it's about three miles long mostly incline but my knee's feeling pretty good today so I'm gonna try it out We're gonna try it out. So one of my favorite things to find here are the banana slugs. So I'm keeping my eyes open. I have not seen a banana slug since I've been in NorCal, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm hoping to find one here. <laughs> Guys, this is so cool. I didn't know I was this close. So these stairs I'm about to show you, I actually, well, obviously me and a group of people, but we built these stairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we built these stairs and there's definitely more and there's like a bridge as well that we built. Oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> Beautiful. 
So these have honestly held up pretty well for four years. Before we did these stairs, they were just like, it was just like dirt going down. We had to chisel out each stair and build it. Wow, this is really cool. I'm very proud of this. What do you guys see the bridge? Here's some more stairs. We didn't build this bridge here. One we built is more up there, but we built all these stairs as well. We used to throw our tools under here to hike back out. Man, this is like, <laughs> this is the most nostalgic I felt in like four years. And here we are. <laughs> it doesn't look like too much, but I'm really proud of this. <sighs> so Jedediah Smith National Park. This is the Boy Scout Trail. And it's called that because it's home to the Boy Scout Redwood tree. I haven't seen it in four years, but I remember it's 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 freaking huge. Uh, this trail is also called Fern Falls because of the beautiful ferns <laughs> and the amazing waterfall. Well, it's not like a crazy big fall, but it's beautiful nonetheless. So we're gonna check all that out. Boy Scout tree. So a cool thing about redwoods, 
as big as this one is, this is like the biggest redwood. <laughs> it's connected to all the other redwood trees in this entire national forest by the root system, which is pretty cool. Whenever you see like a forest full of redwood trees, they're all connected by the root system. So this is like grandparents, great, great grandparents, babies. <sighs> Redwoods are like really cool. Man, it's been four years since I've done this trail. I just walked to the end of it. That's three miles down and now I have to walk all the way back. But after this, I'm gonna do what we would do back when I used to hike this trail for work. After this, I'm gonna go get some ice cream and food from the gas station. Hopefully they still have that stuff. It's been four years, I have no idea, but we're gonna see. And then I'm gonna find where we're gonna park tonight. Oh man, carrying him and my bag was rough, but we got through it. That was the easy part. I found one. I love banana slugs. <clears throat> Fun fact, if you lick them, don't do that. But if you did lick one, they make your tongue numb. <laughs> I've never done it, but I've known people who have. <laughs> Next stop, I'm heading to the Smith River, which is one of the clearest rivers in North America. So whenever I would get done working, here, we would always go there and like hop in the water. I don't know if I'm gonna jump in, but I'm definitely gonna go cool off Ugh, and let Lars get some sleep. I'm not gonna lie, that took it out of me. I am exhausted. <sighs> All right, so change of plan. I'm gonna get food first because I honestly think I might take a nap at the, at the river before I go check it out because I am really exhausted. Uh, six miles and I was carrying Lars and he's freaking heavy <laughs> we gotta put you on a diet man <laughs> like I didn't expect him to be that heavy cause like I've carried him obviously plenty of times but never in that like kind of environment like uphill rough terrain and I was carrying him and my pack that had my water and food and emergency stuff and all that stuff in there. So I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna grab food first and then we're gonna head to the river and I might put my covers up and like take a one hour nap or something like that. All right, so that was super cool. I just went in there and got some food. <laughs> There's, they definitely gave me like a discount because I got um, a drink, I got a candy bar and I got this much food which is this is three pieces of chicken and fries and it was only eleven dollars so because they uh remembered me from when we when my trail crew would uh come through here and the lady uh at the cash register she was like it's been so long since we've had like people like y'all up here we loved y'all because we would stop by in there every single day after work because we would go do the trail come to the river here and then we would go there get food and then go back to our campsite 
and then do it for eight days straight. And then we would go back down to Santa Cruz and have a six day off break. But um, that was really cool. So I'm gonna eat this food cause I'm starving. And then I'm honestly thinking I'm gonna take a nap real quick cause I am still very exhausted. Oh man, let's see what this food tastes like. They got the Sidewinder fries, I think these are called those. Oh yeah. That's really good. Honestly, I don't know how much of this food I can actually eat. That's how exhausted I am. <laughs> I feel like I just need to go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys after I take a nap and then we're gonna go check out the river. See you in a second. <laughs> All right, that was a great nap. I, I took a nap for like 30, 30, 35 minutes, something like that. I feel great. I had like a low grade headache and now it's gone. I ate some more food and now we're going to check out the Smith River. Unfortunately, it's way too cold for you to jump in there. It is freezing cold outside. And I know the water is even colder, but it's so beautiful being back here. You can see that the water is super clear though. You can see straight down. guys so I got to my spot where I'm staying tonight my food is cold it's very cold so we're gonna turn this we're gonna turn this chicken and fries into a California style burrito let's get started and you already know what I'm gonna use my Aato 12 volt heating bag I've talked about this thing so many times on this channel. I swear by it. I love this thing so much. It's like, I don't feel like bringing out my 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 cast iron and like cooking and like having to clean up. So I'm just gonna wrap the burrito, throw it in some aluminum foil, and then pop it inside of this heating bag. So it's just pretty much a bag with a heating tray and the metallic edges. And when you put like um, aluminum foil around it, it just heats the entire thing through. So let's make a California burrito and then I'm gonna go to bed because that hike still, <laughs> I need sleep. So yeah, food. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is so good. <laughs> All right, guys, it's pretty dark. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat this food and then I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was a very special one for me, to be honest, cause I got to see three places that really like reminded me of how far I've come. And I'm so thankful that I get to share that with you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this food, get to bed, and I will see you guys in the next one. We are about to leave California, and I'm extremely nervous for that. But I got my astronauts with me, so I know we're going to be good. Lars is over there playing with a toy. <laughs> I got you guys with me, so... There's no reason to be scared. We got this, astronauts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Good night, baby.